Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be testing some Oyen products. Now, a lot of you guys are wanting me to review some of the products that I had in my haul video from a few months ago. So I'm going to be reviewing one, two, three, four products from the Oyen line. And in this video, I'm going to be comparing a few different products. I'm reviewing the Ginger Mint Co-Wash as well as their Oh My Glide pre-styling detangler in their hairdo, which are both technically leave-in. So I'm gonna be comparing both of these and using them on two sides of my head and then topping them with the Shine and Define Serum to give more moisture and lock in the curl pattern. This is one of my favorites. So that way you can see the difference between the pre-styling detangler and the hairdo leave-in to see if you need both or just one or the other. And it's a good thing that Vernon uses the hairdo as well because this is mine. This is like basically almost gone and he loves the hairdo too. So I had to steal his so I could make this video because I'm about to be out. But enough of the chit chat, let's go ahead and get into this review. So first up, we have the Ginger Mint Co-Wash. Now this is described as a cleansing cream that cleanses, softens, and conditions in just one step. And what I found is that this is a very light and gentle clean. Even on the bottle, it says that you can use this in between your shampoos or as a second cleanse to replenish moisture after a clarifier. Now for me, this did soften my hair and it did moisturize my hair, but I have a dry, itchy scalp that's really finicky with certain cleansers. And although this co wash did cleanse my hair, my scalp still felt dry and itchy and it just didn't really work for me. Where if you don't have a dry, itchy scalp or any scalp problems, this could be a nice, gentle refresher between your shampooing sessions. And next, to start the styling process, I'm going to take this Oh My Glide pre-styling detangler with avocado oil and aloe vera juice to apply to my hair as a leave-in. Now, something that annoys me about this product is it sprays out in a single stream instead of like a fine mist. So it's kind of a bit difficult to get it all over your hair. But once you do, it is so slippery. It has so much moisture. It's designed to help you with removing or creating creating braids and twists and it says that it works for all hair types and I really do believe that this is a really moisturizing and slippery product. And then on top of that leave-in, I'm going to apply the Shine and Define, which is described as a styling serum, but to me that's a little confusing because it's more like a lightweight but super fluffy gel cream. And as you can see here, when I take a little bit of it and rub it into my hands, it basically disappears with like little effort. So this is a really great moisturizer if you have fine to normal density hair and low to normal porosity hair because it sinks in instantly. And then to lock all of that moisture in, I'm going to take this Herbal Tea Seal and Soften Oil from Camille Rose Naturals. I've been using this non-stop lately. It's my favorite oil because it has a really good weight to it, but it's not too thick. And then I'm going to flat twist my hair and I'm doing these twists to last me for a couple of days because I'm gonna be wearing them out before I let my twist out come to be. <laughs> so I'm just twisting my hair up nice and tight and repeating the same steps on every section of my head. So moving on to the right side of my head, as my leave-in, I'm going to be using this hairdo, which is a luxurious leave-in lotion that refreshes hair without buildup, which I completely agree with. And you can use this on wet or dry hair. I've been using this product for about two years now, and it's one of my favorite leave-ins. And that's because I can get hair that's going to be supple, moisturized, and it really helps with breakage. So as I was applying it this time around, I was having some trouble with keeping my hair from tangling because I think I need to get my hair cut. So that was my only complaint with this leave-in. And here I'm just gonna show you guys how I flat twist my hair because it's simple, you just have to get used to the hand movements. So the first thing that I do is just take a small section on top of the section I wanna twist, divide that into two, and then twist those two sections around each other twice to anchor the twist. And then I just pick up a little hair from my scalp and push it into one section and then twist it over the next section. 
It sounds a lot more complicated than it is, but all you're basically doing is twisting your hair and every time you twist one section over the other, you're just picking up a little bit of hair along the way. So I found that when I didn't know how to cornrow, flat twists were the easiest thing for me to do and they gave me long lasting styles like cornrows typically would. So if you find that cornrows are too hard, flat twisting may be an easier alternative for you. What I like most about the Orient Handmade line, because I have a lot of their products, is how clean and pure their ingredients are. A lot of their ingredients are food grade, a lot of them are all natural, and I find that it really enhances the health of my hair. This is like my number one brand when it comes to natural hair care. And the Shine and Define Serum is a very unique product that I found because it's very lightweight, but it's super moisturizing. And it also gives you the craziest definition. You pretty much get everything that you will want in a product and you don't even have to use a lot of it. You get hold, shine, definition, less frizz. And I just absolutely love this product. If you have thicker or higher porosity hair, you can also couple it with their whipped pudding. And I'm gonna link all of these products down below in the bio. And I have a coupon code for you, of course, that you can use for some money off. So I am back. And as you can see, it has been a few days. Y'all already know how I do. I just came off of wearing two wash and goes. So I've been wearing my hair in a wash and go for like the past three to four weeks. So my hair needed a break. So let me part this down the middle and we'll see the difference between the two sides. So just to remind you, even though it's probably, it's been like two seconds for y'all, it's been seven days for me. <laughs> this is the side with the spray on detangler as a leave-in and then the shine and define serum. And then this is the side with the hairdo cream leave-in and then the shine and define serum on top. So I wore my hair in these twists for the past six days and they've held up pretty well throughout that time. But I did start refreshing my hair around the four day mark. So for day four, five, and now day six, I refreshed my hair using the Oyen, um, their grape juice, which is like another leave-in tonic that they have. I like using this to refresh instead of water sometimes when I don't want my hair to get damp. I just want to give it like a little bit of like moisture so I can seal it in. And then of course I sealed that in with my, this is like my favorite oil. This is the only oil that I use, the Camille Rose Naturals Herbal Tea Seal and Soften. So I'm actually gonna show you guys my refresh process right now before I take my twist out. And all I do is I literally just like spray this on my scalp cause that's like my roots get kind of dry first. So I make sure I spray it on my scalp and then I spray the length of my hair and my ends as well. And this is a very fine mist, so it doesn't like dampen my hair, it just puts moisture on my hair. Then I'm gonna take a little bit, little bit of oil. You don't need a lot. And I'm just going to push this into my twist, making sure I get my ends, cause that's like the worst when you have like twists and your ends are dry and crispy and then when you do your twist out your hair is breaking and snagging everywhere. I don't like that. And then I'm of course going to get my roots. A healthy scalp is conducive to healthy hair and moisturizing my roots and my scalp just makes my styles last longer and also just makes them look better because my roots get unruly. They're always thirsty. <laughs> So I have to feed them or they will go crazy. And then once I refresh my hair, I like to actually tie it down with a scarf. So as the hair dries from the spray leave-in that we use, it doesn't frizz up even more. So keeping a scarf on it as it's drying kind of helps it dry smoothly. So I'm just going to put my scarf on. And this is a scarf from Bumble and Bumble. I got it at a meetup like a year or two ago. And um, I'm just gonna tie it up. So I'm gonna let this sit for about 10 to 15 minutes and then it should dry. But as it dries, I wanna show you guys a new way that I found to keep your twists straight while you have them twisted up. Because since I wear my twists for so long, I don't, I like them to be like straight, like hang down straight, no crinkles or anything which can happen when you wear it in a bun. Or if you sleep on it wrong, it's really hard to keep your twists straight when you sleep on them because sometimes like they'll just get, you know, <laughs> like this and then you wake up and you have dents. 
So what I've been doing this week is actually just taking my hair and smoothing it around my head like this. And then I'll just take my scarf that's already in a triangle and I'll just put that on top of my twist. And then tie it down and it's kind of like wrapping your hair when it's straight but your hair is twisted so I've been wearing my hair like this every single night for the past six days and my twists are still super straight and there's like no bend to them which I really really love so that's just a quick little tip for keeping your twist intact but I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry and I'll come back so we can untwist our hair and see the results So these are my final results and you guys tell me what you think. Pause the video right now and tell me if you can see a difference. <laughs> so in real life, I don't know if this is showing up on camera, actually I think it is. So this side is frizzier than this side. This is the side that had the most lightweight leave-in and this had like a slightly heavier leave-in. And this side is a combo that I've been using for years that gives me my best twist out, the hairdo and the Shine Define Serum, I absolutely love. But I wanted to test the spray leave-in to see if I could get an even better twist out, maybe like definition but voluminous. And I think that my OG combo still holds up. This side is really defined. It's really like shiny. It's really dark looking and healthy. And this side, I mean, it's cute. It's, it's definitely cute, but the definition I feel is lacking on this side as well as it's a little bit more frizzier. And because it's a bit more frizzy, it doesn't look as dark and shiny and luscious. Like my curls aren't clumped together and all moving in the same direction. So it doesn't reflect light the way that this side does. So I actually like this side better, the one that has the hairdo and the shine and define. And that is surprising to me because when I was putting the hairdo into my hair, now granted, I think I probably really need to get like a haircut. My ends are healthy, but I just think I need to get a cut. I haven't gotten one this year. Um, but it was actually kind of hard to put the hairdo into my hair, like to get it to go through my hair without like tangling up a little bit, which tells me that I definitely need to get a cut. So I thought that this side was going to come out better because the detangler was just gliding through my hair, which I absolutely love this detangler for that reason. Like it really does just give me so much slip, like effortlessly like I don't have to use a lot and it just works so well it's kind of unbelievable so I thought that because this side had so much slip that the set was going to come out better but I was wrong <laughs> so yeah these are some more close-up results if you guys want to see them so that was my review slash comparison of a few of the Onion handmade products. I really hope that this video was helpful. If you've been thinking about different Onion products that you want to try or you're just curious about how they work, I hope that I was able to answer some questions for you. But if you have any more, of course, just leave them down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. And also, subscribe. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe so you can see more like it in the future. But okay, you guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. You know that you always can call Kim Possible. Call me if you want to reach me. Yes, Kim. You and me will always be tied. Even when I stop acting like a fool. A family thing, a family, proud, proud family, proud family. Show buttons and make you wanna hug them. Do I have everything together? Yes, let's start this video. My teeth are white. Uh, 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 uh. Michael Jackson. use my hair to
to fan my armpits. <laughs> 